Hi everyone! So in today's video, we're talking about the kudu because they're a really cool animal and found basically in all of the nature reserves in South Africa. Kudu, both the greater and the lesser, have stripes and spots on their body and most have a chevron of white hair between their eyes on their forehead. Both species have a dorsal mane going along the spine from their neck to their back. Sometimes males are seen in groups, but more often than not, they will be by themselves and the females will remain in small herds. Kudu horns are used as musical instruments in certain African cultures and in different cultures they're used in religious ceremonies. Kudu are very alert and nervous animals. They spend most of the time hidden in the thick bush. They usually stand very still and are difficult to spot. And they move surprisingly quietly through the dense bush. Kudu have both benefited and suffered being in contact with humans. Some cultures believe that the kudu is very sacred and will protect them, while human settlements have forced the kudu to move out of their natural range and find a new place to live. Kudus are prey animals, often running from lions, leopards, cheetahs, wild dogs, even a large python who goes after the small and weak. Kudus can run very fast, but what they do is jump and use their agility to go to places where the predator can't easily get them. They can jump as high as 2 meters when stressed. Kudus are very important in the natural food chain. They are the most important prey animal of the wild dog in the Kruger National Park and make up to 15% of a spotted hyena's kills. Kudus are easily recognizable with their long twisted horns. Usually over a meter, the record length was 187 centimeters. Kudus have the second largest horns in the hoofed mammal order. Kudu males are known for getting their horns locked during combat. When this happens, they will usually die of starvation and thirst. Besides predators and humans, kudu is also threatened by the rinderpest virus, which is similar to the canine distemperment virus which affects cats and dogs. That's my 10 kudu facts. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about the kudu. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I have lots more interesting animal fact videos coming up and just lots of cool videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.